RC Davis and Omar Samhan, center out of St. Mary's. We have to start with that amazing run of the Gales in the tournament. Just talk about how great that was. Oh uh, man, it was unreal, you know. Uh, just to do it for the, the city and the Bay Area was just awesome because you know the Bay Area loves basketball and that's one thing that uh, it's always loved and it's, it was awesome to be able to do it as a small school and uh, to beat Villanova when nobody in the world thought we were going to beat them was just priceless, you know, and uh, it was one of those things that it, when it happened it almost didn't feel real and uh, then when you realized it was real it felt amazing and you're just so proud of, you know, the team and everything else. So it was, it was an unreal experience and it's, it's one, they say those kind of experiences will last you throughout your life and you, you don't really believe it. That's something that really will last me throughout my life and uh, it's something I'll always look back at and chuckle. Well, plus being a local kid from San Ramon, you could relate to St. Mary's too. Well, I grew up uh, watching St. Mary's and it's, it's weird, you know, I, I'm one of the few people probably in the country that's coming out of high school, like, I really want to go to St. Mary's, you know, I grew up wanting, you know, four years old, five years old, going to their games, stuff like that. So uh, it was one of those things when I came out, it, everybody was so happy to see St. Mary's in the, in the show, you know, in, in the tournament. and. Uh, I always told Coach Bennett, you know, hey, let's not just get there, let's win a game in there, you know? And then that turned into, after we won that, hey, let's try to win two. So it was one of those things where, uh, you know, I just didn't want to be there. We weren't just happy to be there as a team, not just me. And uh, to get it over the hump, especially for all those fans that I've been going to games with for 10, 20 years now, so it was, it was great to get it over the hump. Well, plus that tournament, from a selfish standpoint, put you on the national map. Oh, yeah, it was, it was like night and day, you know? Uh, didn't get a lot of buzz from NBA teams, hadn't been talking to a lot of people, you know, a weekend later because you play the, both those games that weekend, it was like everybody in the country knew who I was and wanted to talk to me, so it was, it was great. You mentioned Coach Bennett. How much did he help get your game NBA ready? He's done so much for me uh, off the court, but on the court, he's done a ton to get me ready, and uh, little stuff out here, you know, Coach Smart came up to me and said, uh, you know, you, you really can play the game, you really know how to play the game, and that's one of those things that Coach Bennett, you know, is uh, guilty for. You know, he's, uh, he, he's taught me so much about the game and just, the, the little things, you know, how important the little things are, and uh, that's really what makes people the difference between good and great, you know, it's just a bunch of little things that if you can do them right, that's the difference between being, being just another guy and an all-star. Well, let's talk about your game a little bit. You can score with either hand, you have good footwork. Your senior year, you really improved on the pick and pop game. It, are those things that are kind of your calling card? Uh, yeah, it was funny, you know, uh, as my games progressed over the years, it's my calling cards changed. You know, I used to be a bruiser down low, and that's all I could do. And now with more stuff, uh, I've, I've stepped out, you know, and uh, that's kind of some style that the Warriors like to play and that I like to play, so it's, uh, it's good. But, uh, yeah, I think that my shot's something that will, at this level will help me, you know, because it's hard to just bang against some of these guys here because I'm no longer the biggest guy, you know, so that's where it kind of changes. But uh, I think that my, my, able, my ability to shoot the ball will definitely be very important at this level. Where all have you worked out so far? Uh, <laughs> the list. <laughs> so I worked out for uh, Jersey, uh, Boston, Dallas, the Heat, Detroit, the Kings, the Rockets, uh, the Timberwolves. Wow. Um, all ton of teams, too many teams. What's the strangest question you were asked in the interview process? Can you share that with us? If I, if I had gone on a date yet with Taylor Swift. Really? Yeah, that's, that's a big <laughs> one. Everybody asked me that after the tournament. <laughs> I told them I broke up with her. I was done with Taylor. I'm, I'm, I moved on to St. Mary's softball. They had a great year this year. My <laughs> girlfriend's the pitcher on the team. I'm good. I'm done with Taylor. Me and her are breaking up. If I asked you three or four years ago when you were uh, coming out of high school and I said you were preparing for the NBA draft just days away, would you have believed that? You know, it, in these questions, you're supposed to say, no, I wouldn't believe it. I can't believe I'm here. Yes, I believe it. I would have told you that's what I'm going to be doing. Nobody else would believe it now. Right. The, the <laughs> other six billion people on the planet would have laughed. Right. But I always wanted to be here, you know, and it's always been a dream of mine and a goal of mine. So it's, uh, it's good that it's, it, it hasn't come true yet, but it's good that I'm working in, in that direction. And I'm, you know, I, I've always thought I had a chance to play in the NBA just because I wanted it so bad. And anytime you want something so bad and believe in yourself, I mean, you got a chance. Well, they say to be confident or good in anything, you need to have a little ego about you. What areas do you need to work on? Uh, my body's got to change. I got to keep changing it. I lost 60 pounds since, uh, since high school, but it's one of those things. It's going to be an up, uphill battle. Got to keep working, keep working, and uh, I think with time it, it will be where I want it to be, but that's probably the biggest thing that needs to change. I'm doing some research on you. I saw your grandfather played yep. in the NBA in the 40s. You'd be in pretty select company you know, have, have that kind of lineage if you were able, able to make it. Exactly. I'm, I'm just, to be honest, I don't even like basketball. I'm just trying to, you know, scare my, my son one day. So I'll have to tell him your dad and, <laughs> and your great grandpa were in the NBA. So you got to show me something. So uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, my grandpa played in the NBA. So it was great to uh, keep the family tradition going. Right. Well, good luck. And thanks for coming on Warriors.com. Thank you so much. And to all the Warrior fans, I love you guys. I'm one of you. So let's go. <laughs>